people. Well, that's the end of nice things. <laughs> because we're going to prison, Chris. Welcome to Animal Alcatraz. We're all the worst and most irredeemable of criminals in the animal kingdom have been sent to death row. There is no escape from Animal Alcatraz, or at least that's what the warden will have you believe. That's the warden. Yeah, it's warden. Yeah. <laughs> what, a, what a scoundrel. <laughs> oh, he's corrupt as all hell. <laughs> anyway, all the prisoners stuck in Animal Alcatraz know there's only one way to get out, and that's to escape through one of the four ways to get out. <laughs> Found on the board right here. What else, Sick Barger? <laughs> Tell us more. Well, I suppose there's another way to survive Animal Alcatraz, and that's to become the absolute top just kingpin of the prison by rising up this here reputational track. While you're in the prison, you can do various things, such as beating the crap out of each other, <laughs> robbing the crap out of each other, bribing the crap out of each other, Bribing the crap out of guards. They're very bribable. Look at them. You know, pooch. Oh, yeah, you want a treat, don't you? Yeah, well, look at them treats. Yeah. Yeah, you want some patties, don't you, little doggy do? Yeah, you do. Go fetch. Go fetch, little prison guard. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, every day is broken down into four different phases. In the first phase, an event will come up, and this little handcuff here moves over to the second phase in which case no event comes up. And then it goes to the third phase, in which case another event comes up. And then in the final phase before night time, we gotta get all of our stabbing done. And then we go to sleep for the night phase. And then we do it all over again. It's a, it's a, look at my beautiful, beautiful face. In my rhinoceros face. My mother never loved me. Hi everybody! Welcome to Room and Board. My name is Chris George. I'm I'm Zachary. And that voice that you heard was Sick Barger, one of the prisoners in Animal Catraz. Animal Catraz, which is on Kickstarter now or soon. There'll be a link to it in the description below. And we have the great honor of doing this paid playthrough for the company and just to showcase the game and just have ourselves a rhino of a time oh, so to speak i am i am so eager to rampage out of this prison <laughs> so if you were confused by sick barger's um verbal assaulting at the beginning well be confused no longer because we'll be explaining the game as we play but basic premise is that we are each playing two characters we're playing a two-player game so it should be noted that this plays up to eight players right plays up to eight players yeah you can there's always gonna be four prisoners on this board. You can see there's two red prisoners right here and there's two green prisoners right here. So there's always gonna be at least four cells occupied depending upon the number of players that you're playing with. Uh, in, in an eight player game, two people would share a cell. Uh, but in this case, since there are just the two of us playing, we're gonna each control two cellmates. And the goal of the game is to make sure that both of these cellmates escape and ideally escape on the same turn. Right. The other way you can win the game is by becoming the kingpin of Animal Alcatraz. Mm -hmm. um, both of our characters will each share a reputation bar. Yep. So as, as both of our characters gain reputation, they gain them together. If you push your uh, reputation all the way up to the top of the bar. Before you, someone has escaped. Before someone has escaped, you trigger a prison riot. Mm -hmm. Every other prisoner is pulled into your room and you have a, a horrible murder fest until there is only one prisoner left and that survivor is the kingpin of Animal Alcatraz. Now, keep in mind as well, um, put your children's to bed because this here is a uh, deep cutting prison drama with plenty of, you know, not safe for work theming around. You yeah, know? I, I think I think the best way to- Adult content. Adult content. Yeah. I think the best way to describe this is it's sort of, it's sort of in the vein of like Rick and Morty or mm. like Family Guy. Yeah where it's, its sense of humor and style is going to go right up to the line. Yeah, um, it's a great way to describe yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, so, and I, I think it, it's all satire. There, there's, no, there's no great commentary on, on the prison system in here. <laughs> we are animals, we're horrible animals, and we have to escape so we can terrorize the world again. Yeah, and we are being held in by animals as well. Yeah. Just making sure that there isn't that commentary right, right, right. on the prison no. system. There, there, <laughs> 
no, there, there isn't. A, oh my god, yeah, no, there isn't. There isn't a. <laughs> With that in mind, let's get to the game. Um, so we're each given these two characters. Actually, I don't know who I am. I guess I can kind of guess by looking at. Oh yeah, I, I thought I was red, but I'm green. Um, now we. What's kind of fun about this game is that you get to open. You get one of these dossiers randomly, and you're supposed to open your character and figure out who you are. Zach set this up for me. Yeah. So and, I know that I have. Uh, yeah. The rhinoceros sick barger. Of course. Oh. I also have Rob Z, the the drug addled zebra. Yep. The junkie zebra. Robbie Z, Robbie Z, Robbie Z, 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 who starts with uh, two cunning and two strength, kind of a balanced character. Uh, also, you'll see here that each character has an ability. So Robbie Z, when he hits his cunning here, he'll trigger his this ability. And then when he hits his cunning here, he'll trigger this ability. Uh, which is no cunning loss with primal or binky boost. So oftentimes when the characters take drugs, they can switch into their primal form and they have matching standees and like little uh, images that, that are these primal forms. And you can see their strength goes up, but they lose all their cunning. They get additional actions. Robbie Z being the... Uh, the junkie. The drug aficionado that, that he is. <laughs> Uh, he when he hits here, he won't ever lose cunning. Usually primal because you go so outrageously crazy into your into your frothing animal form, uh, or even more of an animal than you are right now. You turn into that form. Uh, Robbie Z won't have that that thing hurting him. And in fact, if he gets further up on the cunning, every time he does go into primal, he gets an additional boost as well. He boosts his stats, which is actually really good it's as really long cool. as you can get the drugs yeah as long as you got the drugs and then and then also next you have sick barger of course sick barger my favorite character <laughs> yeah we made sure that zach was going to be everything else is random for this but we made sure that zach could be sick barger because if zach was in prison that would be your street name i think all of the all of the the names of the of the prisoners i think are a reference to something i have no idea what sick barger is a reference no to no idea absolutely i think that's why we find it so funny <laughs> because there's like there's like uh who is it andy Dufresne, or what's yeah, yeah, the yeah, take yeah. on it yeah there there's a there's a cat there's a cat burglar in the game mm. who is who is i forget what the name of dandy Dufresne. Up. dandy probably dandy Dufresne. dandy Dufresne. But, but yeah, Sick Barger is just Sick Barger, the sickest Rhino Barger in the land. So his, uh, our, a rival's weapon breaks in your skin if he fails to beat you with it by a margin of three or more. And he also hurts his hand, so loses strength. So if you're attacking Sick Barger, you better be sure to win. I'm actually terrified of your combo there, Zach, and I feel like you rigged this so that you can, uh, just really, really become the kingpin because I'm scared of Sick Barger right now. We'll see what characters I gave you, Chris. Well, let's see what I have. I have Cold Cuts. I've got Cold Cuts, who is, you know, real name, Ham Parker. But uh, my abilities are at the infirmary, I get to eat surgical remains. If I work in the infirmary, I always would get strength that way. And if I win a fight, I get to feed off my rival. <laughs> So I get plus one strength and my rival gets negative one. So I guess I can affect you. Maybe I can tank Sick Barger, Barger's strength as mm -hmm. we as we go through the game. That's very fun. And then also next I have uh, Sticky Fingers. I've been Sticky to Fingers before. Uh, sticky Fingers is, is great. He starts with three cunning. Uh, when he get up here is before the dice roll in any fight, you call out who's going to win it. And if you do, you get items. So he's constantly betting on items. And then he can bet on stealing as well. These are our characters. I'm excited about them. I really like the big play mats in this game. Yeah, uh, the, all this little these little dossiers that kind of outline everything that's there. So we're gonna get started in just a second. But we also are playing with a few few modules. We played this a number of times to get ready for this playthrough, obviously because we are consummate professionals and aren't gonna get a single rule wrong ever. Not ever for the rest of our lives. I'm never going to go to prison for not knowing the rules to a game. <laughs> and, you, and you can bank on that. If you see a rule that, that we've done incorrectly, you know what? It, it's been changed to that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is a good thing to mention. This is a prototype game. Of course, yeah. There are, there are rules that are, that are not quite set in stone. Yeah. Some cards are still in French. All, all this stuff is sort of subject to change because it is prototype. Uh, currently, that's why we have these sort of standees, and we just have a few of the uh, of the really cool kind of minis as well. But that's why we kind of picked the characters that we wanted to do to to, to showcase it uh, as well. But so there's a number of different modules that you can kind of unlock 
in the game and we're playing with those and you know what let's just talk about them when they come up yeah i think right? that's fair i think we should get into the gameplay right now right so yeah. why don't you give us a general overview of what somebody can do on their turn sack so on your turn every every inmate has five actions mm -hmm. uh you can spend an action to move out of your cell from one room to an adjoining room and you can spend an action to use any of the uh location abilities in the room that you're in you can see on <laughs> On the map, there are certain locations that are open, and there are certain locations that are covered by these guards as well. So that means those locations aren't currently available, but the guards can shift. Yeah, so throughout the day, the guards will go on patrol, and different locations on the board will become available or blocked yeah. uh, according to the whims of their guards. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to just get into it, I guess? Let's get into it. The, that, that's all you really need to know yeah. is that there, there are five actions, and as we go to those actions, we'll explain what they do. The basic... Uh, premise is going to be to try to try to escape or try to become the kingpin. Those sort of motivations will remain in our sweet little hands of our own knowledge. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we're we're starting off right now. So uh, why don't I go first? <laughs> Two can play at the shank oh, game, no. Chris. Uh, there are these awesome. The first player token is a uh, 3D printed toothbrush that's been turned into a shank. It's the little things, yeah. you know. It's, it's it's a little thing. It's a little every everybody we played with has, has held the shank and been like, <laughs> it's a real shank. <laughs> They're like, oh, this is actually sharp. <laughs> oh, this well prototype. So you know, don't worry. Uh, they're like, oh, this was made to murder. And we're like, yeah. What did you think you were signing up for? Yeah, you've heard of cutthroat games before, <laughs> but in this one, one of us will die by the end of this video. I and guarantee that you. is a promise. I yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, um, you start, who starts in, in cell block number one? I'm in three, and is this number one? Yes, I start in cell okay, block so number one. Okay, so you start, so you actually do start. So I do yeah. start the game. There you go. So at the beginning of every round, first things first, the first player token goes to the person who has the most reputation. Mm -hmm. We'll go with me, because we have, we have an even reputation at the start of the game. Yep. Then we roll the guard dice. We don't roll the guard dice in the first turn. Nope. Uh, then we all get one item from the electric chair. You can see this sweet little electric chair. There's a little bunch of items in here, so we're each going to get one of these items. These items go into our cell stash. So each of our cell blocks. Oh, we, all of us. So since we're, since we're playing two characters, yeah, we, so we each of our we cells each get, get two. two. Yes. Oh, oh, I really like playing two characters because when we were on a team, I felt like they were they were stacking up, and like we own, we own, we played it as a team together mm -hmm. to try it out of the different player counts. I like uh, being able to manage both of these things. Yes, it's very cool. So then we um, uh, we reveal a gangster on the electric chair who has been sent to death row at an animal Alcatraz. It is the turtle. Turtle, light him up. Ah! <laughs> But it turns out, I mean, I guess the uh, I guess the the electric chair didn't quite fully go off because he's not dead. He's not a ghost. He's appearing somewhere in the cells, and he's actually a gangster that we can hire. Yeah, I suppose the electric chair in Alamo contrast is just to torment the prisoners. Yeah, they really want to really want to make him make him suffer. It's <laughs> part of the prison process. Uh, so here we have the. This is a dealer. So the dealer, first dealer gets dealt in cell block one. Yep. The next, the next prisoner will come into cell block two. Yep. Three, and then four, and around and around it goes. As we populate the prison, as we continue along this journey of ours. Cool. So we start with my prisoner in cell block one. That's going to be Rob Z, my zebra. And here's my challenge. At the beginning of the game, we've all started with a rat in yeah. our cell block. <laughs> Friggin' rats. And if he sees us go and grab that contraband we squirrel away in our cell, he'll squeal on us like rats do. And he'll tell the warden. You know, he'll tell the warden. So if I want to get at those items... Oh. Did somebody say the warden? I mean, I know. I know in the, uh, in the game. In the game, I'm a dog. But uh, this is going to have to be a good substitute. My acting debut, everybody. Me, Mr. Ben Barrison. Hi, how's it going? Uh, Am I doing well? There's no yeah. contraband warden. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, sorry. I've got to stay in character, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I, I, I think so. I'm just really honored that they invited me to be part of this playthrough. Oh, anyway, I'll see you later. Okay. You missed the warden. He was just what? here. <laughs> the warden was just here. <laughs> Dang it. Maybe I'll catch him at some other point in the playthrough. 
<laughs> that smart guy. <laughs> so on my first round, I think my zebra fella Rob Z is gonna try. But first, oh right, one last bit of bookkeeping. You're right. We reveal an event. <gasps> There's spiked food. The cook accidentally spikes his gourmet grub with primal herbs. Eat at the cafeteria and start flipping primal. You only lose minus one mm. if you go to the cafeteria, which is over here. If you decide to eat at the cafeteria, which is this right here where you get some strength, you can also turn into your primal form. There's drugs in the grub. Wow. Mmm. Ah, that's uh That might be what I want to do, because as we all know, Rob Z loves a good good high. Um Rob Z does love <laughs> He a good loves high. a good high. Yeah. Right? Um, let's see. I, I think I'm gonna try to fight the rat in my cell though first. You're just going right for it. I'm gonna go right for it. Rob Z only has two strength. You're but not gonna fight that rat. I'm gonna fight the rat. Wow. I wanna get my items, because I want to be able to go and trade them for yeah. more better contraband. Alright, well your rat is the pervert. <laughs> the pervert. <laughs> I didn't know that they had names on it because I never yeah. them before. But this rat is the pervert, and in order to beat that little pervert, you gotta roll a 10 plus check on your strength. And uh, so you you having a strength of two, you need to roll an eight. Don't roll, don't roll an eight. I won't roll an eight. It's pretty simple in this game. You roll two dice, they're d6s. God damn it, Zach. Oh, and then you add your strength. So. Uh, oh, I hate this. I hate this already. That's going to be plenty to beat this rat. He gets oh, kicked no. out of my cell. Oh, no. Uh, and then my my little gang of two guys gets one reputation for yeah. succeeding in that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take a look at these items that I just oh, acquired no. from my cell. Hmm. Oh, show the camera what right. you got. So uh, you can see here I got some uh, girly mags. And uh, some handcuffs. Why do I have girly mags and handcuffs? You don't need to know that. And uh, I've got this, this uh, binky. I'm uh, I'm kind of hype about having a little binky. Chris doesn't know what a binky is. I do know what a binky is because no, I read your character description. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know what the other ones do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to put, the Rob Z is going to take all of his contraband oh, no. out of his room. So that was my one action. Yeah, I meant you just had to show the camera. You didn't have to tell them, but I'm glad you told me just outright. Well, don't worry. I can play this game open without any hidden information, and I will still beat you. Because everybody in this prison knows who the kingpin is, and it ain't you. I will only have hidden information between you and I, and we'll see whose strategy pays off. <laughs> cool. I'm going to try. So that was that was two actions. You kicked the rat, yep. and then you moved out into the open space of this cell, the cell block. Uh, grabbing your items and rearranging your items when you're in your cell doesn't cost you an action. So you have three actions left, Robbie Z. Right. Um, I'm now going to try to corrupt the guard in the room I'm in. Are you kidding me right now? I'm, gonna, I'm going at it, man. You're you're wild and crazy. Yeah, so the guard in my cell block has a, has a cunning value of 10. I'm going to try to corrupt them. Usually you want items to bribe the guards with. I have no items to bribe this particular guard. Unless the... Unless he wants girly mags. Does he want girly mags? No, he doesn't want girly He's mags. He's a 10, so he needs... Uh... He wants cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, he wants camels. Oh, yeah, he wants camels. Yeah. I thought he wanted Aseline. No. Chris, we can save that joke for when we actually use <laughs> Aseline. Anyway, I'm going to try to bribe this guard or convince this guard to work for me because uh, that's how I roll. I swear to... Okay, so you got a 7. Plus 2 is 9. nine. It's not a 10. You do not convince the guard, and in fact, the guard spits on you, and everybody laughs at you, and you lose that reputation you just got. <laughs> this guard is going to get get it in the end, I think. All right, that's three <laughs> actions. Uh, I'm going to move into the uh, the library for four, four and I'm going to trade in the library. So everybody knows that in prison, if you go to the library, there's all kinds of people trying to huck their contraband. And I'm going to trade my contraband for the stuff in here. Uh, I'm going to trade uh, my girly mags and my handcuffs. You can put those in the discard at the back of the deck yeah. there. Uh, what's the value of both of those together? Uh, the value of both of those together is a seven. A you seven. You can see that uh, each of the these has a little number in the bottom corner. And... That's how much value that they can trade for. And then if you look in one of these decks, for example, 
I'll just pick this one because we haven't looked into it. You see there's also a value on all the items. You can trade for up to seven, and keeping in mind that each character can hold three items as well. Three sweet little items for sick Barger. I don't think there's going to be any other voice for this for this game. Everyone can't have the name. You got to think of another what tough am, voice. What am I going to do? I'm going to be hey, sticky finger. Yeah, that works. No, that's that's not as fun. I want to be sick Barger. <laughs> uh, all right. So what was the total value of those again? Sorry, six, seven. seven. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nope. That's that's everything I've done. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so. What's interesting about this game, too, is that you can... It's not like you have to constantly keep drawing from the deck and hoping you get the thing that you want. It's kind of that that race, right? That race to get out of prison and that race to do the things that you want to do. So we all know what items are in these decks in each of the four rooms. We have a little cheat sheet we can reference. Um, and if we go into this space and look at our uh, pick an escape plan, it'll tell us exactly what items we need to use that escape plan. Or you could... Pig, an escape plan. Well, that was a good one. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, yeah. All right, so over to Cold Cuts. Cold Cuts, baby. All right, Cold Cuts, I'm definitely going to the friggin' cafeteria and eating up some grub and getting raged. But I just have to map out my actions because I know that I'm going to get an extra two actions if I do that. So I kind of... Now, can we go into each other's cells? No, we cannot go into each other's cells. No? Each other's cells are off limits. Oh, I wanted I wanted cold cuts to defeat this rat. Mm. How the heck is friggin' Freddy the Fingers gonna defeat the rat? Freddy the Fingers just better hope it's a weak rat. Oh, dang it! You sure about that? I'm Zach? very sure of that. That's specifically called out in the rules. I'm very mad about this. Okay, 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 okay. But we share one escape plan, right? Yes. All right, fine. So I'm gonna go one, two. Three, four, it cost me two actions to use this space with the sweet little symbols on it, but that raises my strength by one, two. Camera's over, here we are. I've moved up two, but also because of this event, yeah, um, because of this event, I can go down one in my cunning, which is fine because he didn't have any cunning to begin with, and he's going to switch over into his primal form, which you can see it's at that two setting, which means I get an additional two actions. So I'm going to replace Cold Cuts on the board with his little standee, his primal form standee. And now that's how I remember that I'm raging and I'm staying in that primal form for the next two turns. Um, so, okay, so that was one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. So I have three moves left. Yes, right? you do. So I'm gonna go. That's spooky. One, two, and fight this guy. Do it. Oh no, he's the junkie. He's oh. the easiest one to fight. So I just need to roll a three to knock him out, which obviously I'm gonna do. <laughs> that was just a three. Great cold cuts. You're useless without your rage, but he's dead. He's dead, so I do get one rep as well, one communal rep, and now I can also take these cards and put them into my hand. That's the total of my turns. Go ahead, Zach. Awesome. Now it is time for Sick Barger. The sickest, the sickest rhino that's ever been plagued with his own existence. Um, all right, we're gonna, um, I think I'm gonna fight my rat. I'm not, this. so I know that there is a 9, a 10, 11, and a 12. Yeah. We've seen a 9 and a 10 rat. Yeah. So this is going to be probably a little hard, but. Well, you get to see who he is first. Yeah, let's He's go. He's the 11. Oh, of course. <laughs> so do I just never get my items then? You're going to have to fight him, Chris. Oh, You've got a good I, odds. I've got one in my gotta, fight. You just got to roll double sixes. Jesus Christ. All right, I got a, I got a tank up, I guess. All He's right. supposed to be cunning. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not enough. Okay. Thank, if you'd gotten him, jeez, I would have been so mad. Right. So I cannot beat the snitch. That's sad. That's my first action wasted. Um, I'm going to take my second action, go into my cell block. Third action, I'm going to go to the showers. When you go to the showers, you draw the top two crime cards. Yeah. Because... Uh, 
because Jerry the janitor knows all the dirt. It's He'll true. tell you how to how to pull one over on people in this prison. He really is not doing his job well. You know what? Very dirty. He's he's a, he's the pressure release valve in this prison. Yeah. If he wasn't around, everyone would just like you know do community service and redeem themselves. And we can't have that. Not in Animal Alcatraz. Not in Animal Alcatraz. Yeah. So we're gonna take that, and this is gonna go to the bottom. Man, but at least my snitch goes away at the next at the end of the fourth round, right? Uh, but yes, yeah, because at the start of every day we roll to see if the snitches come back. Yeah. Now the rats come back. Um, oh, that's so tough. That is upsetting. I'm going to then go, where do I go? One, two, three, four. I've got two actions left. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go four. And in this game, you have these... Gang tokens, and you can use those for various actions that get you reputation, but also you can flip them over and they are trash tags yeah. that you can use to trash talk your opponents. And as I walk into your cell block, I look at the weak. I haven't even moved. The weak, terrible little fox, and I say, hey, get up out of that cell. Get up, trash talk, trash talk. Get up out of that cell and fight me if you dare, you little weasel. You know what? I think your mother was maybe a, a, a wolfhound, a foxhound or something. Yeah. So you put both on, on Sticky Fingers. I put both on Sticky Fingers. Now, in this two-player game, since we're both on the same team, can my buddy um, Cold Cuts go and beat the crap out of you? Uh, I believe it's Sticky Fingers that has to get me. All right. I can, I can double-check that real quick. Um, well, because when we were a team, we could we could fight each other. Or we played that way. We definitely did play that way. Let's double check. Let's double check. Do if we have the rules handy again. You know what? Just pass me that stack of paper. Because that's what I was looking you for. Were, you were right yeah. <laughs> I'm very happy to. <laughs> yeah. To pick up, we probably put a cut there. Yeah. When you give trash tags to a person. They go on a specific person. They go on a specific character. And that yeah. character must fight one of my characters before the night time. If the trash tags remain on the character at nighttime, they lose they lose reputation in the prison because they're a punk. Yeah. They're a little pup. Chris might not want that to happen. Yeah, that's really annoying. But, okay, so you're forcing my hand. You're forcing my hand. I've got to... Are you done your moves? I'm, I'm done my moves. That's my five. Um, all right. You're forcing my hand, and I then have to work on my strength, I guess. So that's annoying. So I'm going to go, I mean, I got to do that to deal with that guy anyway. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go one, two, three into here, four, five, doing basically the same action that I did. You're both going primal. One, two, and I'm going down in the cunning, which is a bit annoying, but I'm going primal. This which means my strength is four, and I also get an additional two actions. With uh, Sticky Fingers, now known as Talon Claws. Here we go. Sticky Fingers, baby. Sticky Fingers regular form? Nah. Sticky Fingers has gone primal. Talon Claws is in the building. So I get additional two actions uh, because of where I'm at on that mat. So with those two actions, um, I don't quite know what I want to do. Maybe I'll go get a... Because I could just get to a place where I could actually do something, you know? Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to go here and here and get these escape plans and pick one of these escape plans for us. That's pretty smart to uh, to think about. The earlier you get the escape plans, the earlier you can start working towards and, achieving them. And you can see this sheet right here. This is a little cheat sheet to show you what items are where. So you don't have to just run around and guess, right? You can say, okay, if I'm looking for that surgical mask... I know it's in, naturally, the infirmary, right? Mm. Uh, so, not that I'm... So you're looking for the I'm surgical mask, are you, Chris? Surgical mask. Yeah, I mm. saw you flip over that sheet. No, uh, no reason. Acting all sketchy over there. No reason whatsoever. It's all right, you can tell me where, how you're trying to escape. I won't, I won't block you, I'll just murder you. You won't? Yeah. I think it's kind of cool. I think on every, uh... On everything, there's one of each, right? Like in all in all the four corners as well. Yeah. So you've got to go one way or the other. I'm gonna do this one though. That's gonna be my our escape plan currently, but I can also always switch that escape plan. So we've reached the end of the round. We've reached the end of the round. We move into the midday. 
the first thing that happens is we check first player. Um, I'm, it's going to be me because I'm at two reputation. And I've dropped down to jailbait reputation, so <laughs> I am uh, not going to be first player. Then we roll the guard dice. Yeah, it's being rolled. And that's a B and a movement. So every guard moves okay. to the next level in B. So these four guards rotate, and then these four guards rotate as well. You can see us moving them around the board, and then we can shift them all over, blocking B. And if somebody's on the B, then they just kind of get... Yeah. Cool. And then we roll the um, warden dice. The warden dice. So the warden also is annoying. We haven't really talked about the warden, but the warden is going to go to number seven. So actually, the warden stays in the middle. So we don't need to talk about the warden. Basically, he's the most corrupt. He's, you have to give him items. He's the most corrupt space. person in the prison. If you walk into his space, you have to pay him off, or he'll send you to the hole. Cool. And all then right. we all get one item from the we do electric get all deck. One item from the electric chair. I'm just going to put that here for ease of uh, reaching. That's fair. I'm really upset about it. Now, two of us have not acted uh, harvested our cards. You can only have three cards in your cell, and because our snitches stopped us from picking them up, we're going to have to discard one. Yeah, I have uh, four cards over here. Five cards over here. I don't know if that's. Uh... No, that would probably be a mistake. Discard two, then. Okay, I'll discard two. I'll discard this one, because it's the best one. And then uh, I'll discard... Uh, oh, man, these are all so good. I need them. I need to fight. All right, on the bottom of the deck. All right. And then also, a gangster appears. Oh, yes. I know who is going to arrive in the prison today. Look, this Sam the Eagle. <laughs> it's so <laughs> just ridiculous. It's so funny. It's got no use. <laughs> but I mean, other other than fun. And honestly, you can say that for like every single board game on Kickstarter. <laughs> yeah. And I, I as far as like ridiculous things, I love the I think the electric chair is super cool. Oh yeah, 100 percent When we were playing with the gangster module. Then it, then you didn't get to use it, really. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's part of the reason why we're playing Gangster Module. You want to get Sam the Eagle? I would love to get Sam the Eagle. I and assume. he arrives in Cell Block 2. I think it's a different eagle. Oh, no, that's the same eagle. You're yeah. right. Yeah, you already have him. Good job. Might need to flip him over so he's not on the French side. All right. Cell Block 2. Strength check to do it. Okay, let's go. Cold Cuts is going first. You could just pay him off to recruit him. Why would I need to pay him off when I can punch him? Mm. Um, cold cuts cost an action to trade. Yeah. Uh, not for in, If you're in your cell, yeah. which you are, you can just pick it up. Yeah, okay. So that's why I'm using this first. So I'm using this card. It is the uh, semi-edible snack. Cold cuts goes up a little tick in strength. Oh, no. I ideally would have liked to use it and give it to my, my buddy over here. But uh, what can you do? I'm just doing that so I can pick up this other card gotcha. and be holding three. And... Um, these are the things that I have currently. Maybe those are the guards that I could corrupt. I might wait until I've turned back non-primal to attempt to corrupt them. Hmm. And I'm just deciding something, Zach. I know you're deciding something. <laughs> I'm deciding if I'm using another item. You know what? I'm not going to, because I'm going to trade them all to Frankie Fingers over here. So, that, uh, so I'm going to move one. So I get seven actions. I have seven actions because I'm in my primal form still. Yep. I'm going to do one. I'm going to trade Freddy the Finger all these items. Yep. For two. I'm going to beat up this buddy. I'll, all I need to do to get him on my side is roll a four. So I'm going to. I swear, if I hadn't, if I rolled another three, I was going to lose it. <laughs> Would have been good. Uh, so nine plus my strength of six is 15. I've gotten this checked. I've hired this gangster, this klepto. Um, after a successful steal, pick two cards, keep one, return the others. So this klepto now goes onto my own player board over here, which... So he has come and joined my team, which means our team gets an additional rep. <laughs> And we also have gotten the Thief Gang. We're the first people to get somebody from the Thief Gang onto our team. So we get one of these little tags over here, which Zach is going to find for me, the Thief one. And then I can put this in a location when I go to that location, right? Yep. Yep. So if you place it in the library, the laundry, the cafeteria, or the infirmary, um, 
you become the gang that's in charge of all the illicit trade and that's part of the prison. Mm -hmm. And instead of items being discarded into the discard, they just get discarded into your hand or your cell. Yeah. All right, so I got that. So that's one, two. Um, honestly, I think I just need to... Oh, no, I know what I need to do. <laughs> Ravi Z has got some tasty items over there. And I don't have any. So I'm going to... I've got two actions. Right. So if I go three, four, five, I can't get to you. So I'm going to go three. Oh, no, the, the fight spot's blocked. It's blocked. Ah... You can see why those frigging guards are so annoying until you bribe them off and get to use their ability for free. Oh, that's awful. Thanks, Godzy. You're <laughs> stopping them from fighting me. All right, fine. I'm going to go three, four, five. Just keep on uh, up-leveling my own strength, adding stuff into the cafeteria. Um, so I've got two more actions. So I guess I will run over here for one and two. I can't go into the into the middle because I don't have a, uh, uh, a an item to give to the warden. And also this guard is blocking my pathway. You can see they're on a little gate, gate symbols to let the yard open. So I'm gonna go seven. Oh, that's such a disappointing, oh, that's such a disappointing <laughs> turn. All right, your turn's out. I love it. And then, and then I lose my primal form. Uh, it's at the end of the round. You're you still you're still primal. Oh, okay. So, so you could fight if you fight me. Then yeah. I see. So you're still sort of protected by your strength. Yeah. Right now. I might not want to come and fight you. Yeah. Um, hmm. Well, it's uh, it's it's sick barge's turn. <sighs> He's a dummy, isn't he? We're gonna one action go to the library. Two, three actions. He's gonna learn. He can learn some stuff in the library. He's gonna he's gonna read a book on. On the nature of rhinoceri. Ooh, two actions left, eh? Can, I, I, I feel like the answer is a, is a no, because you don't have cunning when you're primal. But could I go and learn books in a primal state? Ah! I just really like reading! Ah! <laughs> no. No, I don't think no, so. I, I think don't think so don't, I don't, You don't have the, the cunning stat, so I don't think you can use that at yeah, all. Yeah, I don't think so either. Um, <laughs> I just figured I'd ask. That'd be very funny. Where am I going to go? i got two actions left, Chris. Do I go and try to wise talk the dealer into being my boy? I kind of want to try. I only need a seven. I'm going to try. Fetty Barger is going to go over here. Dang it. I was going to try my primal state. And he's like, oh, roll a seven. use your turtle. Eyes are right. Now, sir, I. Doesn't make any sense. I got a horn. You got a shell. We got both got tough little hard bits stuck to us for unknown reasons. I swear, if this turtle comes to you after that convincing... I'm gonna lose it. Listen, I'll make you a little paper mache on. You make me a little paper mache show, and we'll be hard brothers. Uh, that's actually pretty. Yeah, that's what I thought. Roll a three. All right, well, <laughs> think about that for next time. Get eat lead, <laughs> sick barger. You don't lose a rep for trying to convince him. I don't. I, I can't lose any more reputation at all. Yeah. Um, that's all of my actions. It and, goes to. And we get we get a reputation for each gangster we have at the end of the night. Going into the night, yeah. So that's something. That's why I didn't get a reputation. As yeah, well. it's valuable to get those gangsters. All right. So now it's oh, you freaking jerk! Mm, I know. Oh, you freaking jerk! Listen, I gotta. I, it's four versus four. No, it's four versus three. I've got the edge on sick barger if I go punch him in the face right now. But he doesn't have any items, so it doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, you don't stand to gain any reputation either. You only well, gain... but I just lose the trash tags. Like, true. I need to punch you, and I need to punch you while I'm in primal. Right. Or else I'm not going to have the leg up, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe I do that. Maybe I do that. All right. Well, I'm going to eat this, this semi-edible snack. I had another one, oh, so wow. I get to tick up my strength. I really should have given both to... If I could have, I would have given both to Buddy yeah, Boy. You would have been up at five. That's been yeah. crazy. Um, but I'm going to go up to five, because I'm going to go one, two, three... One, two, so now I'm up at five strength. Uh, then I'm going to go four, five, six. Put your dukes up, Barger. Oh, Freddy the Talon is coming to get you. So I've got a five and you got a three, right? Yeah. And in, in a tie, the attacker wins. So let's go. Listen, you little Oh, look at that! Roll over and die, you rhinoceros pig! What is this? Oh! 
let's zoom in on these results, baby. That's not an 11, but it is a 66. I've never felt more glorious in my entire freaking life. Listen, Foxy! That I have right now. Listen, I'm, all, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to be oh, gentrified. baby. I'm trying to be friendly and kindly. Get in your cell. It's not my cell, oh, this is my cell. Get in your cell, Barger. <laughs> Oh, I've I've honestly never felt so good because of a dice roll in my entire life. <laughs> ah! Right then, looks like the bond got bonded. Give me back my trash tokens. <laughs> I take back everything I ever said about you. <laughs> you, you were mean. Oh! You were so cruel. <laughs> I, I no longer care about my escape plan. I want to make that perfectly clear. I only care for blood. And you know what? I'm going to sweet talk this dealer right now with my last action because... You got no, You just going to have to do a hard dice roll. I'm just going to have to do a hard dice roll. Don't care. He saw what happened. And if he knows what's good for him, the dice, the heart of the dice, no. are going to make it happen. This is baby. not going to work. Eight. He needs a seven. Shabang. Come on over to the to the quick fix dealer. I get a reputation for bringing him onto my side, and uh, I also get the ability to basically turn primal whenever I want to <laughs> ask him to turn primal. Honestly, I'm friggin' rabid. Do we want to pick up all these cards? We should pick up all these cards. Our, our, our brutal fight knocks them off you the table. What? You pick it up. Yeah, this is this is the animal kingdom, baby. I don't like animal kingdom. <laughs> That's what happens when you drop the soap in Animalcatraz, baby. I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh man. Okay. Uh, all right. So that was uh, Freddy the Fox Fingers, and now it's Robbie Z. <sighs> yeah, Robbie Z. What is he gonna do? Hmm. One, two, actually one, two. What's your, your strength is absurd, isn't it? No, just fight me. It's only seven. Uh, I gotta. I'm gonna try to remove your uh, your gangster. So I'm gonna go to the fight square. I'm gonna declare a fight against you. I'm gonna pick your thief as my target. Wow. But you're gonna punch my gangster, and then I'm gonna punch you in the face, and you're gonna lose all your items. I might win that fight. I might run away. You can't run away if if I. Yeah, I know. Because then it would be my turn yeah, to no, choose I'm just, if I run away. I'm just holding on to some hope. I mean... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat your gangster. You're not going to get that reputation at the end of the night. I'm not going to let you. Let's go. All right. Let's go. So it's 2v2, basically, right? 2v2. I don't know where my other dice went. You know what? I only need one. You, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> I might need two because you rolled a seven. Heart <laughs> of the cards. Heart. There are no cards. Heart of the cards. There are no cards. Heart of the dice. What? Are you kidding me? What? Are you kidding me right now? What? I swear, if you have an item that says re-roll, make me re-roll, I'm going to lose it. So. <laughs> are you kidding me right now? I can't believe that that just happened. Robsy loses the fight. This is... The items he was carrying get dropped off in the infirmary. The best thing that's ever happened. And he gets sent back to his cell. This is the best game <laughs> in the history of the world. That was brutal. That was the worst thing that could have happened. Uh, but do you still have additional actions? Um, or are you knocked out completely? Because you went one, two, three. Right. I have two more actions and... Uh, you didn't have to use a weapon, so I didn't lose I any I didn't lose a weapon, right? no. Yeah, so weapons usually re uh, have an action cost for the opponent to use them against. Um, darn. I've never felt more good about myself in my entire life. I feel so bad right now. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to go one, two with my last two actions. Yeah, you are, and then I'm going to come and beat you again. You're not collecting. i got to go beg the, the, the doctors for my stuff back. I know, I need to up my cunning on... Uh, all right, people. All right, so it's the end of the round. Now I turn back into my normal, calm, sensible cold cuts and my normal, calm, sensible sticky fingers. Now covered in. No, I don't go. What was it going? I was here. I was here. Um, now covered in blood. 
Now that you've calmed down, I'm going to go and reap some vengeance, boys. That's fine. I've leveled up to three strength. It's okay. I'm almost... That's okay. I'm two strength. <laughs> It's fine. It's uh, fine. Right. So we go to the we go to the first beginning of the round. Um, cool. First I, we roll this. First we roll that. I remain first player because I have the highest rep at four currently. I have minus one rep. Oh, but since I beat you, then since you are jailbait. Oh yeah, you should get one. I more should rep. actually get a rep because I beat you then twice. Because rep, not strength. Oh well, well, who's looking at that? I'm looking at that. Uh, so I should get two rep actually, right? Because I beat two jailbaits. Because you were both jailbait. You're jailbait yeah, I suppose, times, yeah. right? Yeah. It doesn't say that on here, though. No, it doesn't. But it's in the it's in the rule book. Yeah. Okay. All right. So they move. They stay where they are, but they move to C. They move to C. Interesting. Uh, I go first. I choose who's going to start. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, we also have a new gangster appearing in the electric chair, as well, and we have a new event. So we have our. Don't even go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so stupid. I love it. Our new event. Guards down. Resigned monks. Or resigned monks. Resigned mutts. Easy to manipulate. Uh, corrupt guards with ease deduct two from their corruption level until the next event card. Let's go. That's pretty sweet. That's very exciting. We oh. have to roll to see where the uh, warden goes. Warden goes. To a three, so a three is here. No, here. The oh, one's there. Yep. Good thing you got out of your cell. Yeah, I like that. Uh, and then a card goes into each of our cells, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you haven't killed your, no, he's, your, he's, your person yet. He's still in there. Yeah, okay, he's cool. still in there. And then this goes into that, and then this goes into that. Uh, this is where we do that discarding thing as discard well. Discard that for me. Chris! Yeah, I'm just going to discard this. And then find, we put the gangster. The gangster appeared here, it right? It should have appeared there. What was the gangster? Uh, the thing? goat. The goat. The scapegoat. Wow. It's almost like you set that up perfectly. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> this was all a random <laughs> chance. Uh, so scapegoat can, you know, be, a, be an escaped goat. He can be a scapegoat. Uh, he lets you run away from a fight. Oh. So, Sticky Fingers has some stuff, and Sticky Fingers has some guards that Sticky Fingers wants to corrupt. So, where are you? Where are you? He's way up top there. Uh, okay, cool. This is what I'm going to do. Sticky Fingers is going to start, obviously, so I can steal all of your items from the infirmary. That makes sense. I'm going to go one. Uh, I'm going to corrupt this guard first for two. I'm going to pay him some cash, some cash flow. Which means plus five cunning boost to the guard. So Sticky Fingers is currently at a two cunning because I took a hit for turning primal. So I'm at a seven cunning. He requires a 12 check to get, but he's also minus two. So he only requires a 10. So I only need to get a three to take over him. I don't like this. I don't like this. And I rolled a four. That's easy peasy. Uh, I, I got to take my, uh, my standees off my, my people. And now we see that this 12 guard standee has turned green. Because he's in, he's in, <laughs> he's in my pocket. So he's there, and that also means that I can take that action for free, uh, should I want to. I don't seem to want to keep punching Robbie Z in the face. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Um, so I've used my one item. So that was one, two, two actions. Mm -hmm. So if I work in the infirmary, yeah, I get two items. Mm -hmm. And I get to pick up whatever I want from you. You pick up, yeah, whatever I want. Or whatever you want, and you draw two items from the contraband deck. And then I would just discard what I didn't want, or I'd leave it there. You'd discard I, it, yeah. Anything you didn't want from those would go back would there. Would go back there. But I could I could discard these yeah. to take more of your stuff. Sure. Right. I mean, you could just steal it from me. That's what I'm. That's my issue. Oh, but I do have this, this pusher as well who can hold an item. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make him hold an item. This is interesting because I don't want to leave my my gangsters exposed here. I think do I, I'm having do I fight you mm. or do I let you have your stuff and run away? I'm going oh. here. Uh, I'm going one two. So I'm taking these all of all of these items and three possible items. Yes, I'll be probably taking those right away and activating them right away. 
Interesting. Someone's looking to escape. You don't even have an escape plan. I can make that escape plan work. I hope. All right, good. It's not, it's not something that I need. Um, what do you mean good's not something you need? You have it, you own it now. That is something, it is something I, I... Now, I'd have to take these items first and then use them, right? Mm -hmm. I couldn't use these one-time yeah. things? Yeah, th th this is all one event, you picking up all these cards. Yeah. All right, don't... So these were the two, these were the two that, I, uh, that I picked up. These are the three of his. I'm going to keep this, because that's really good. Uh, I'm going to keep this item, sure. And then I'm going to keep that item as well. So I'm putting these, uh, this one gets discarded because it was from the up from the top. And then this get, goes back. So that was three, four actions, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to go primal again. Uh, I am now going to use this guard's action for free. And I will be discarding these two items. Mm -hmm. Which just happens to be one escape item that Zach might need. Uh, it gives me a trade value of seven, and so I get to look through this whole deck and think about what the heck I need. I don't even know if I need something here. Um, now, what's the trade action? Was the trade actions covered? Oh, but you can do it for but free. I can do it for free because he's my he's in my pocket. He's your guard. So I'm gonna take that because I need that. Mm. Uh, Listen, guys, I don't really like what I'm seeing here. I am getting um, beaten quite quite soundly. I think my only hope, my only hope now is to uh, either escape now with just some lucky dice rolls, <laughs> uh, just run, or I could really try to make a gang war happen. I'm going to take that as well. But I don't think I can win it. I don't think I can win it. He's got so much strength on me. So I'm only taking those two things. Those go back. Uh, I might as well drop this in there while I'm there. Because mm -hmm. uh, then if you want to make any trades down the line, you can. And where did these come from? Oh, these were still in, in it should be in my cell. Yeah. Uh, that was from the previous discard. And then uh, I'm going to put this into my cell, this right here, which means in the night round five, I get a bonus three strength. So that's cool. I'm going to keep this on me. Uh, and then I'm going to play, I'm going to move here for my fifth action. Yeah, and I think for, I'm going to play this binky, because I know Robbie Z likes it. So I'm just going to play it right away. It makes me lose another cunning, which I'm not huge on, but it gives me two additional actions. So I'm going to go here and place uh, this item in a cell. So when all of these get filled up, you are considered to own that cell block. And so if a token goes down there, it means moving in and out of that cell block is a free action. So it helps you kind of later on in the game. So I'm investing in my future. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was my sixth action. And for my seventh action, I'll come down over here. Mm. And then I'll turn primal no. <laughs> and get two more actions. You I could really, just stay primal the whole game. I really should have. Yeah, I should have gone primal. Okay, so it's um that was who whose turn is that? That was that was uh, Freddy's turn. Right. So then it's is it is it so then it's Robbie Z's Robbie's turn? Robbie's turn. Yeah. Well, I could work there and get an item back, and you get two items for working there. Yeah, right? I get two items for working there. You know what? I will do that. I'll work there. I'll get this item back, whatever this was. Okay. And I'll get two more items. So that's one, two actions. Three. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm actually, before I leave there, I'm going yeah. to try to corrupt your guard. Sure. So he's, when you corrupt someone else's guard, they're, they're two points more difficult. Yep. So because of this event, cards are two points less difficult. He remains the same. He remains the same, so he's going to be a 12 difficulty to corrupt. Your I have cutting two. is two, so I, you need a 10. I need a 10. You don't have an item? Oh, I didn't even think to look. He needs uh, cash. Yeah, no, I don't have that. That's okay, though. That's not a 10, Zach. No, it's not a 10. All right, I failed to do that. That's okay. That's three. Yep. Four. Uh, I'll try to corrupt this guy. 
for your fifth. Yep. So he only is eight. That's pretty doable. I should have done that. I really should have done I that. I failed to do that. <laughs> Zach. <laughs> I failed to do that. I failed to do everything. <laughs> I'm very sorry. It's your turn. I'm very sorry. Um, all right, Cold Cuts' turn. Uh, I've been thinking not at all about what Cold Cuts wanted to do. But I guess... I don't even have any items for Cold Cuts. That's the problem. He could go back and get his stuff, but I don't think that makes any sense. So... Cut all of that at thinking out. And now just do your turn, Chris. Do your turn. Yeah, I'm in a very tough spot here. I feel like you're ahead on everything at the moment. I've got to really turn it around on Barger's turn. Yeah. I'm, uh... Because I'm contemplating if I can get out... You know, if I can bust my way out of here? You might be able to, yeah. But I want to bust you up first. Okay, you know what Cold Cut's going to do? I'm going to go one, two, go to the showers, see if there's something here to do. Cool. Uh, these are my two options. Oh, dang. I could have done this if I had just done that before. Shoot. Okay. Um, that... That well, I already have that gang tag. I'm taking this one in case because I think those items are pretty easy to get. So I think that that one's pretty easy to do. Uh, okay, that's a that's a that's a crime that I'm interested in committing. And then I'm just gonna go three, four, five. Give cold cuts some learning. Makes sense. Play some chess in the courtyard. I don't know if it does make sense, but I mean, you you probably want your ability right because you're gonna be fighting, right? Yeah. I can feed off my rivals mm -hmm. and slowly take down your strength. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Sick Barger's turn, I think. Yeah. Do I fight this stupid rat? I think I've got to fight this stupid rat. You know he's an 11, so you only need to roll an 8. I only need to roll an 8. But I've been rolling like... Roll an eight. <laughs> Do you want to switch dice? No, it's fine. I've been using random dice every time. This is awful. Sick Barger just loses again. I used to be a contender. <laughs> I mean, those two fights really set you back. Oh, back in juvie, they used to say I had the strongest horn. <laughs> now I had the sharpest, the sharpest horn. But now I'm just a washed up old rhinoceri. Damn, I don't know what I'm going to do. That's one action down. Two actions. I might as well try to corrupt this guard. <laughs> Why? Because I need some reputation here, Chris. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Oi! Oh yeah, I should have gotten a reputation for corrupting that card, you're right. Be my friend. Please. <laughs> this is how it sucks being the lowest on a totem pole in this animal Alcatraz. Take pity on me, officer. Seven. Eight. Plus one is eight. But I Oh, I it's need, a twelve. It's a twelve. I need I a ten. I thought it was a ten. No, I need a ten. I thought it was a ten. Yeah. I got so excited for you there, sick barger. I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. <laughs> well they got that crappy zebra to keep me company. He sucks. What do I do with my turn, Chris? I think I'm gonna go to the showers. You gotta muscle up, man. I maybe. Because you gotta fight me eventually. Not that I want you to. I'm I'm trying to position myself in places where you can't fight me. <laughs> okay, uh, that was one, two, three, four, right? Fight, walk, talk. Do this as four. Yeah, so you got one more. Gonna do one more. Hide in the laundry, sick barger. Oh, they're coming for me! Oh, they're coming for me! <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I should trash talk you so you can, your minus one can go down to minus one. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Okay, okay, so that's it for this round. That's On it. to the last round. We go to the last round. I'm still first player because I have the highest reputation of seven to yeah. your minus one. <laughs> Guards move. They move to C. Ah, what are you going to unlock for me now, my pet? Every, all the same stuff is covered. Yeah, which is really annoying. Okay, okay. Everybody gets you want to do, deal those out while I set up the electric chair for the for the screaming. It's uh, it's the turtle again. Ah! Is there another turtle? Oh, you know what? We put out the uh, turtle. We should have put out the iguana. All right, so now it's the iguana. Let's just put out the iguana. It doesn't really matter. 
I'm a holy spirit iguana. Ah, I've been falsely accused. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they, they're looking into it. That's why these gangsters are still up in the prison. <laughs> Listen, we tried to electrocute them, but they didn't die. So maybe they were innocent. We'll give them one more go. Um, what do I do? Wow, that's uh, quite a lot. Can I use two of the same item on the same card? I think probably. No, I don't you know why not? Yeah. Little, yeah. I, if a guard likes panties, Chris, he's never going to say no to two panties. <laughs> Man. Dream come true. Okay, well, maybe I'll do that then. I mean, also, the guards are too easier right now, right? Yeah. So I don't even know if you need to. That's true. No, although you are a big, stupid pig. Big, dumb slab of pork. If it was my turn, I'd be throwing trash tags, Chris. Oh, yeah, Robbie Z picked up some, uh... Did Robbie Z pick up some stuff? Chris, you don't want to risk fighting me, because if you lose, I get all your reputation. I go up and meet you up at 7 there. Do you want to risk it? You want to you want to push me down into the mud like you have, and then risk <laughs> losing it all to your arrogance? I can't. I can't get you anyway. So yeah, of um, course you can't. <laughs> I Excuse want to. You can go corrupt that guard, and then use the fight space, and then fight me and lose everything you've gained. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Okay. So I can start off by using the same action that I'm in. Right. Right. So I am gonna get two more cunning which unlocks cold cuts special ability mm. and i'm also not going to go back to the cell because we're going to go back to the cell at get the end of this round so like why would i waste the turns and the actions in terms of action efficiency does it make sense did we roll for the warden we didn't. oh we didn't roll for the warden no the warden is at eight that certainly changes cer some things oh. that i might be interested in doing yeah that does change some things um come fight me <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have picked cold cuts to go first as well, because now Robbie Z can't move until later, right? Because cold cuts was here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dang. So Robbie Z gets to go last. That's annoying. Three. Jeez. Four. It's just a waste. Like, there's no way I can I can get that guard with my cunning. Mm. So I'm just going to stay there for four. I'm not going to not gonna use my last action. But that's where I want to be. I've unlocked my ability now. When I when I pillage stuff, I, I can eat it. Oh, but I'm not even going to be there. I'm not even going to be there because we'll get sent back to our cells. So no. that's just kind of a waste, isn't it? Yeah, it um, is. Was there anything else that I could do then for doing like two? If we retcon it to... You could walk in here and check this escape plan. You could mm. uh, walk in here and go to the showers. You could... Um, just try to corrupt that guard. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Oh, there's a rep. Two, you know what? I might as well do this because this won't make me lose rep if I miss that check, right? Right. Two, so three, and I'll roll for that one. I don't feel very confident that the scapegoat should join my team, honestly, so I don't think my powers of persuasion are going to happen. I think I need to roll a seven. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling I'm going to roll a six. Yeah. I, I'm feeling I'm going to roll a four. Now, add that in. Add that in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I don't get the guard. That's fine. That's fine. Um, He'll just stay there. That's fine. That's that's cold cut's turn. Barger, you've got to turn this life of yours around. And like, yeah, you could go and talk to some people in this prison and figure out how to get on parole. But no, we're gonna murder some folks. We're gonna go and brutally bash some skulls in. Maybe we won't actually. This is your cell, right? And that's your cell. Yeah. That's got currently got a rat in it, though. Right. You can steal from where, from the rat? I think I need to kill the rat. I could go kill that rat for you so I could try <laughs> to steal from that cell. <laughs> can you kill the rat? No, you have to be in it to kill the rat, don't you? Yeah, I suppose I do. All right. You uh, can't come steal from this cell because the warden's there. Yeah. So I guess I'm going to go... Huh, what, what's the strength value? Five? Five to three isn't that big. I could I could pull it out. I could pull it off. You're like a plus two to me. This is this is this is the equivalent of a rhinoceros bashing his head against the wall over and over. Listen, if I want to get up in this prison, I need to go. You know what they say? They say when you get into prison, mm. you find the toughest guy. <laughs> you find the toughest guy, right? And you you go and you make friends with him. Mm -hmm. And if that doesn't work, you fight him. You fight him as so everyone respects you. And that's what I'm gonna do. 
One. But you can't fight because it's blocked. I'm now going to seduce that guard with my rhinoceros charms. <laughs> so you need a nine because you have a one. No, so, you, so he's a ten. He's a ten. Yeah, so you only I only need, need an eight. A, you only need a seven. Oh, sweet. Because yeah, you got a one there. Five. Four or five. Okay. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Next time. You know what? We're going to have to have it out. Pig. Pig. Are you kidding me? You oh, pig. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> you. I can't. Oh, that's ridiculous. I should be able to fight you with this guy. Oh, you garbage person. All right. One, two, three. I got two actions left. Do I go? That will put me up into four. That's pretty good. You're going to try your Maybe luck? Maybe I fight you. You're going to try your luck against me, pig? Hey, sweetie. Aren't you the prettiest little guard in your prison? Why don't you join my you need to gang? Roll, I don't know why you're doing You need to roll an 11 to do this. Because he's a 12. Right. Well, no, he's good. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I need to roll an 11. But that just means I need to... Okay, no, maybe we don't seduce the guard. <laughs> but we will take a chance. We'll try to fight you. Oh, I really didn't want you to do that. We'll take a chance. I'm really scared of him. Did you take my dice? Maybe. Those are my good dice. Maybe. What you got? This is this is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. Total of ten. This is really, really bad. Oh! What is this? What is this? Oh, what is wrong with these dice? Oh, this is this is the best game. What this is wrong with these dice? This is the best game. That Call I've the ever warden. Played. We need to check on this. This is unfair. You call. Warden? Yeah. I, I'm being impressed by the other prisoners. Let me see. Who checks out? What? That's so fair! God damn. That sucks. Oh, that felt so good. Oh, because you're jailbait, I also get a get a point, right? Yeah. All these little punks. And I think that you me. won that fight, so I think you oh, won these trash tokens. But you technically trash talk cold cuts. Right? You're right. That's true. So because cold cuts went first, and you just trash talked them, you're just gonna. Wreck. I feel like that should be illegal. Well, like, you, you share the reputation track. I'm. I'm I think you probably lose the, the trash tokens. The trash tokens? Okay, yeah. that seems fair. Because we did have a fight. Yeah, we did yeah. have a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Because then that, that also prevents everybody from just, like, yeah. ripping somebody into zero mm -hmm. for for no reason. Well, it's uh, your turn again. Oh, it's my turn. You finished all your actions? Yeah, well, I got sent back to my oh, prison right. cell. Oh, right. Technically, you had one more. So oh, well, try. I, I'll try to fight my, my rat. Why He's going to go away, right? But uh, I might get one reputation. But you might get a reputation. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Seven, ten, you need eleven. Yeah. Dang. My rat stays. The snitch. Yeah, because I only had the snitch last last time we used this module, and that's why I didn't see the pervert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. That Thank. Do it. Honestly, though, Zach, like that could have been so bad. I know. I, I I feel like I'm... You know that could have been ridiculously bad for me, right? Folks at home might be thinking, yeah. Zach is getting crushed. And I am. I absolutely am. But if I had won that fight, I would have gone to the same amount of reputation. Mm -hmm. That would have been huge for me. I could have really made a, a play for Kingpin. Yeah. Right now, I am... I'm suffering, though. Yeah. Without that. That, that could have been a huge yeah. swing. He would have dropped all of his items... I would have had a chance to go after his turtle. And especially because of this, and I'm just going to do it now because um, I'm scared of you, but I'm going to go one, two to bump up my strength uh, to start. Then I'm going to go three, four, five. And so if you go to the escape plan element, if you have a card uh, that is pertinent to your escape plan, you can reveal it. You have to reveal your, your whole I'm escape plan. I'm revealing my whole escape plan, and I'm locking it in, right? Yep. Uh, and... Then this can be locked in so that nobody can steal it from me. So I've stashed that away. Yeah. That's also why I was scared because the the infirmary's items get cleared at the end of the night. And if you had done that, it would have been really hard for me to like I wouldn't be able to get it back. I'd go one, two, three, four. Right. Like I would have lost the thing that I needed with my escape plan and had to reevaluate that sort of stuff as mm -hmm. well. So that's why that was like that was the right move. I was trying to like you know, yeah. talk you into doing the wrong move. Yeah, 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 I feel but that. But you was 100% the right move. 
Um, all right, so that was, those were my sticky fingers. Moves, Robbie Z can go, because he hasn't gone yet. Right. What do you do, Robbie Z? To such a weight of landing upon me. Prison, such a sad place to be. All right, well, I'm going to have to corrupt humans. I mean, dogs. I mean, guards. Yeah. Where is the guard? Where's the dog here? He's supposed to be seen. Yeah. Um, I corrupt that guard. Let's see if I can do it. Do you it. have any items to help you corrupt guards? You should check and go find one of those guards. Yes, I'm going to corrupt this guard. Wow. What does this guard love? He loves panties, ah, baby. Ah, you can't get those on the outside. No. No, <laughs> this is a closed economy prison where the guards are also prisoners for yeah, some reason. They can't get that on the outside. They can't go to a store and buy panties. The guard loves it. Listen, this is what happens when you have dogs as your Six guards. Plus five gets you 11. Plus your cunning is two, which is 13. You get this outright. You didn't need, you didn't need the event. You're so good on your own. That's okay. Your panties did all the work. Oh, man. I gotta, when I meet Sick Barger in the cafeteria, I gotta thank him for wearing these for a week because that really, <laughs> that it, it sick. developed such an aroma that the dog couldn't resist. Cool. That's action one. They were Sick Barger's panties. You're correct. <laughs> action two. We go there. And no, you know and what? you got a rep for corrupting that guard. I did. You're no longer jailbait. We're no longer jailbait. Look at that. I'll stop getting rep for beating you up. Hey, you know what? I'm feeling good. Yeah? I corrupt this guard. Oh, you got any items? No. You do corrupt that guard. I do corrupt this oh guard. Oh my god, Robbie Z, the, the sweet-tongued menace in the prison. My tongue is so sweet. I've, I've heard that said about you, Robbie Z. Yeah, I know. Honestly, for the same person who, who you know, gave me mm. those panties. So that's one, two, three... Yeah, there's not really much to do with your extra actions, just because of where the guards are, Yeah, and what they're blocking. Looking back, I should have come here and tried to corrupt that guard and then fight your fox. Oh, thank goodness I'm going to get some friggin' items That's... as long as that, that rat goes away. I'm going to try to get that pusher. To hire the pusher. Yeah, that's a pretty good, that's a good plan. That was a great, that's a great use of your time. All right, I just need a nine. You need a seven. I, I need a seven. Eight. Look at you, Robbie. This is the is this the TSN turning point? Hey, Robbie, <laughs> are you my best friend now? Are you the, are you the are you the kingpin? Is Sick Barger just your little your little urchin? Yeah, this is the problem. You weren't giving Robbie Z the, the time the to shine credit that he deserves. Do I get a reputation for Kirkman or getting the gangster? I don't think so. No. No. Cool. All right. All right. So you done? I'm done. So we take all our people back. Uh, they go back to their cells. Back to your cell, cold cuts. Back to your cell, sticky fingers. Uh, then we also get one reputation for each gangster that we have. Yep. So I get two reputation, putting me into the notorious realm. I'm only three away from rioting, Zach. It's pretty impressive. And if I were to trigger this crime right now, maybe there might be a riot. Maybe I should try to escape. Um, and then also uh, the, the, the snitches, snitches go, go away. away. Oh, also, uh, I'm on. I get some steroids in my cell in night round three. This is a bonus that I added. Mm -hmm. So this guy goes up three points of strength. One, two, three. Wow. Oh yeah, baby. He's feeling tough. He is feeling tough. Okay. Uh, and then we go to the dawn of the second day, and we flip up a new event card. This yeah. is gone. This is a new event. The new event is the not so pregnant wife. You can get a bump from her bump. You can stop by the entrance and meet her highness and get a boost plus three action. No action cost to stop by. Wow. So well, it's, it's a bear smuggling in some cocaine. <laughs> Figures that a bear would do of that. Of course a bear would do that. Bears are awful. Bears are freaking worse. Mm. I hope a bear doesn't show up. <gasps> Bears have all, always been horrible creatures. Whoa. Acting. You know? Oh, I right. Love, they, I love acting. Okay. I'm, I'm bound for the silver screen. Hey, Bob. <laughs> Laugh or I'll eat you. Uh, uh, he has my family. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's got your family, too? It's sad. He kidnapped your family? There's a menace. Oh, my Zachary. I'm so sorry. I, If anybody knows. You framed me for it. That's why I'm in prison. If anybody knows what you're going through, it's me. Bears kidnapped my family, too. I know. I couldn't say anything. Uh, he said if I said anything, he'd kill them. 
<laughs> All right. So uh, we're on to this first round. Yeah. We need to see who's getting electrocuted in the electric chair. Let's A new find gangster out. arrives. The shark. Oh. The shark's honestly my favorite. <laughs> so the shark's turning up over there. Uh, I am still first player because, you know, I am the, the boss hog. Mm -hmm. Cold cuts, you know. Uh, we also roll these to see where the warden goes. Eleven, which is, of course, it's horrible for Zach and not horrible for me. That's fantastic. Hmm. And then, uh, because it's the dawn of the day, yeah. we're each going to roll two dice for each of our cells and see if a rat appears. And do we add? We also add a card to each. We cell, also add right? a rat, a, a card to each cell. I'll yes. do that while you roll. All right, sick barger, no doubles. Robbie Z, no, no doubles. doubles. We're good. We're good. All right. Let's see. Uh, this for cold cuts. No doubles. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a third 12 that I've rolled. Honestly, oh man, that sucks. That friggin' sucks. So shuffle up the uh, rats and give me a random one. Yeah. And then uh, sticky fingers. No doubles, thank goodness. I needed sticky fingers not to have doubles. That's the, that's the horrible truth of it all. Actually, I would have been fine with it, let's be real. I'm gonna get, okay, I'm gonna get those out. Those will stay. Hmm. I think I might have a wild move here, Zach. I believe it. I think, I think some plays are gonna be made this turn. I think. Now, if I were to trigger a riot. Right. Does it happen immediately or the end of the turn, the end of the round? Uh, I believe as soon as the riot's triggered, everyone gets called into your room and a fight happens. Mm. So, you have the most reputation. You yeah. get the prison shank. Yeah. So, I do get to go first. Just deciding. Do I trigger a riot or do I try to get the hell out of here? That's the question. Because we know, well, this has been revealed, so I could I could go get that thing to help me break out. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I had it all planned out. One, two, three, four. I think I can escape, but I also think a riot would be would be more fun. I don't know. Whatever what, whatever hubris you would like to pursue that would lead to your eventual downfall, I'll accept. Oh, I don't know if I can get... Oh, yeah, I can just discard an item to get there. What do we do here? So Sticky Fingers is going to pick up all this stuff. I want everyone to know that while Chris makes these intense decisions as a cat, <laughs> licking themselves right in front of us, the true animal Alcatraz experience. I'm just deciding who's going first because, like, I want to trigger a riot, because I think that would be the most fun, but I need to make sure that I can trigger that riot. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I also think I should just escape. Uh, yeah, Cold Cuts is gonna go first. Okay. Cold Cuts is gonna go first. That stays in the cell, technically, because I haven't picked those up yet. Right. Um, Cold Cuts is going to fight this rat, the junkie, I just need a four. It's the easiest one to fight. Easiest it actually worked out pretty really well. Worked out really well, because it's going to give me a rep. When I take this junkie down, he's out of there. Mm -hmm. oh, we get a rep. We're at 11. Cold Cuts is then going to pick up some, some friggin' stuff. Yeah. Cold Cuts is going to hold it in his sweet little ham hands. So that was one action. Yep. I think I just got to go. It's not even going to really help me that much, but it blocks up the spot. Oh, no, I can't block up the spot. That would be bad. Sure, let's go, because my cunning is there, let's go to... Wait. I got some message from Robbie Z. He sent me to arrest you. What? Pull out this card on a rival's turn. When his convict enters your corrupt guard's room, rival convict is locked in place until he rolls a five or a six. Every roll costs an action. Suck it! Listen, Robbie Z wants you to know that you are a little worm, and that, you know, you ain't gonna turn out good for you, you pig. First, you, who you calling a pig? Yeah, no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Guybrush Threepwood in an insult sword fight from Monkey Island. So that was okay. That was one. That was one, two. Yeah. So three oh, for the roll. Yep, three for the roll. Now I'm on four. Four. Get away from me, you mutt! You ain't breaking through these these handcuffs here. They're made to hold pigs like you. 
<laughs> oh, no. I mean, it breaks me free, but I've used up all my actions. <laughs> you garbage person. Oh. oh, you're the freaking worst, man. I love it. Why would you do that to me? Robbie Z says it for, for guts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your uh, turn. Yikes. So cold cuts went, so it's uh, sick barger. Oh, barger's turn. Well, I'm gonna walk out here, and that's gonna cost me an item that I have to give to the the the, the warden, warden, which is unfortunate. Then I'm gonna go here, two, three. I'm gonna trade. Let me look at this quickly. Cool. And I'm going to discard this. Mm -hmm. Nice. For two additional actions. Oh, no. So I'm spending it. Oh, you're spending to it. To buy. Oh, you're spending it to buy. Oh. That was one, two, three. I can't get to you to fight you, which sucks. So I'm going to go... Four. You gotta spend another item to do that. Oh, you're you right. I don't want to do that. Wow, that that uh that shark's pretty scary. Yeah, he's really good. So I'm gonna go. What is this? This is it's a fighter steel. That's not what I want. So I'm just gonna go four or five. Okay, that's it. Your turn. All right, Freddy the fingers. Oh, actually, sorry. Let me take that back. I'm gonna go four five and pick an escape plan. Sure, might as well. Here's what's gonna happen for Freddy the fingers. He's eating this semi edible snack. Which I'm just gonna put here just you know to remind myself that I ate it. But I went up one little tick of strength. Um so that's nothing. Nothing, no actions. I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna pay my pusher, I'm gonna tell my pusher, I'm gonna roll a dice mm -hmm. to see if someone's about to go primal. So if I roll a four to six, yep. Freddy, his name isn't even Freddy. His name is Sticky Fingers. <laughs> it's Freddy. You're, think, you're thinking Freddy got fingers. I'm thinking, yeah, or Freddy the Fingers, yeah, right? Freddy the Fingers. All right, here we go. Here we go. Four, five, or six. Oh, no! No! That's okay. I just wanted to have an extra little little boost of fighting, but I think we'll still be all right. Mm -hmm. um, interesting. Maybe I need a weapon. So that took me one action, right? Right. So I have one action. Yeah, I'm going to go two, three, four, and do an exchange here. You got another friggin' trap to spring on me? No. I wish. Oh, do I have to discard stuff first? Um, you can look at the prices. The prices are also listed on the card there, so you can... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So it's like, it's like I'm, yeah. I can look through. Okay, cool. Yeah. Because I think I can only discard this two, because I think I need the extra action. So that was four, right? I'm, gonna, I'm only going to have five. Well, like my fifth one, I'm going to move in here, and then I'm going to get three extra actions, mm, right? Gotcha. Yeah, so I'm going to need to keep that. Okay, so I'm just discarding this for two, and I'm just getting something. That's that's what I'm going to get, and that goes back. Then my fifth action, I go in here, and I trigger this, which is get a bump. You don't have to actually go here to do it. That's what it says. Yeah. So I get three additional actions. So I'm going to go one, two... And I need another action, so I'm going to play this Binky Boost mm. to boost me up to get me two additional actions. You go down some cunning, though. I go down some cunning. It doesn't matter, because you know what's about to happen, Zach? What? I'm going to eat in the cafeteria and boost myself up, too. And I might as well reveal this crime yeah. that I've been holding on to, where I complete in the same round, eat this stuff, the Spank Snack. Oh, did you just eat that? Which I just ate it on this round. That's why I put it here to remind us. And then eat at the cafeteria, where I'm fattening it up. Reveal this, then collect the bonus below, which is two rep, two rep, which puts us into the riot. Let's throw down in the cafeteria. Let's go, baby. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> I was going to make an escape in the next round. I knew you were. Yeah. If those double sixes were anything an indication, I think it's about time that so I became the king. You, you, you triggered the fight, so yep. you picked the first fight. Who yep. fights who? Oh, so we pick, I picked the first fight? Yeah. We're going to have uh, Cold Cuts fight your little pusher. Cold Cuts fight the pusher? Yeah. All right. Get you knocked out. And this is it. This is it for the brawl. Like, a riot has started. One of us will emerge not dead. Yeah. And we'll be the kingpin of the prison. Let's, I'm excited. Let's go. I'm excited. Let's, Let's go. go. My pusher, Iggy. 
Let's show him off. Yeah. He's going to fight the pig. He's got two strength. Cold Cuts has five. Don't worry, I'm gonna be. He's gonna beat I me. I swear, I feel, I feel the tide turning. I feel like all this showboating has been for nothing, and I feel like Zach's just gonna go on a tear here. But that's what it is in Animal Contrast. Nothing more than rolling dice. Here we go. It's bird eat snake. But, but just two guys rolling some dice. But just this is what you do in prison. It's cat eat dog. You just you just shake it all up. You shake it. You just you shake it. It's moose kick lemur. You make that assaline, and you just you go. Gah! 11. 10, 11, 12. But 11 plus 5. Oh, okay. But that's a good roll. This is pretty good. So what's your total there? Cold cuts uh, eats you up. Okay. Uh, my total is 16. Knocks Ziggy out. Ziggy's dead. I sh no, I should have gotten rid of that, but that's okay. Doesn't Ziggy's matter. dead. Now you get to pick a fight. I get to pick a fight. In this very in this very genteel brawl that we're having here. We're all, we're, all in this, we're making a circle, and we're fighting in the yeah, middle of it. Yeah, and this guard's like, yeah, I'll let it happen. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it's over my pay grade. I mean, this guard is, is in you. my pocket, so yeah. be wary. You're going to get pushed All right. as you enter. We're, we're going we're gonna to swing for the fences. Rob Z, yeah. the real ringleader of my gang, yeah. is going to go for cold cuts. Oh, yeah? We're going for all it. All right, bring it. Five to two. Shoot. I got a sock and yeah, batteries. Yeah, you did. Three to two. Three, th three to five, I mean. Come on, baby. Come on, cold cuts. Come on, cold cuts. Give me a sandwich. <laughs> I want you to look at my dice sack and see what I've just rolled. What is you? <laughs> How many times have you rolled double sixes? That's four times That's this game. That's flipping insane. That's four times this game. Uh, they're this loaded. Is, this is they're unfair. loaded dice. This is unfair. You guys sound like you're having a really weird foreplay. That's the point. Yeah, yeah, we are. That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's correct. And I would like you to leave, Renee, so that Zach and I can finish anything. The game. Anything, finish the game. Anything the goes game. in Animal Alcatraz. Honestly, what? This is why I rioted right here. Yeah, I know. That's absurd. Knock Robbie Z. I'm using these stupid dice next time. You can Out use the these pictures. That's fine because you know what. Freddy the Fingers is going to finish you, finish you off, Sick Barger. Freddy the Fingers is going to pull out his improvised hammer and bash Sick Barger over his stupid little head. I can't believe that just happened. I'm at an eight strength. What are you at? You're attacking Sick Barger with Yeah, who? you're the only person left. With, oh. with Freddy the Sticky Fingers, I'm at an eight strength. I'm flipping primal! Whoa! So you're at five strength. I'm at five strength, uh -oh. baby. I'm actually very scared about this, but I'm at eight. Let's go. Oh, come on. Come, these are the dice you rolled double sixes on. Can you see this Do on the camera? That? Oh, I rolled five. Three, four, plus five. That's nine a nine versus. Versus uh, 13. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> Well, I reveal my newspaper vest armor, which uh, it <laughs> injures you. I lose some. I lose two straight. But that's brutal. I'm. I lose. Looks like sick Barger died from influenza or COVID nineteen. Well, that's it just got dark. You took the mask from me the first turn. I did. <laughs> I did one. Well, I got a mask right here. That was part of my. Uh, yeah. That was part of my thing. All right. All well. Right. That's the playthrough of Animal Alcatraz. Hopefully, give you a good breakdown of the other things that are in there. Let's go over the modules that we didn't include. One of the modules that we didn't include it kind of extends the game a little bit, but it, it, it provides a catch-up mechanic. Yeah, it's, it's the getaway uh, module. Yeah, so in the getaway module, once you've made an escape attempt, uh, you draw a card for escaping the island. Mm -hmm. It'll have a dice check on there that you need to roll on two dice. Either strength or cunning. Yeah. Then you have to escape the city. You draw another card. Yeah. Again, another dice check, strength or cunning. And then escape the country, another dice check, strength yeah. or cunning. So it, it encourages you to sort of have more, increase your stats higher before you try to yeah. escape. Because even if you have a really high strength character, you might need some cunning to actually pull off the escape. Yeah. Uh, the other interaction that has is players who are still in the prison can send the guards that they have corrupted to, to make like, the dice checks harder, yeah. to chase after them. Um, uh, yeah, we, so it, we didn't want to play with it on this one because it feels it adds length to the game. Um, mm -hmm. But we can talk about that more in the final thoughts section as yeah. well. And I think there's so much there's so much rolling dice against each other yeah, anyway. Yeah. 
we thought it might just become a little bit of a, a rolling dice back and forth for for minutes at a time. Yeah. So for you know for the sake of the video, that's yeah. why we didn't include that one. But just so you know, that's also a module to throw in. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, I, I really like the art on those cards. There's only like yeah. one or two cards that actually have finished art on them. Oh, cool. But they're like a little comic strip yeah. of the animal. Like, uh, I think there's probably going to be one for all of the different criminals. But right. like, there's the one that has the art is the Andy Dufresne character, like swimming through the thing <laughs> and then climbing up onto a. Yeah. So I, I, I like the little comic strip aesthetic. Uh, this is a card for one of them. But they, they all have similar sort of yeah, like comic strippy art. That's on really them. cool. I'm just going to show it on the. Uh on the side camera here. It's really cool. Yeah, the art in this is great, but we'll save all of that, those opinions for the final thoughts. If you're interested in the final thoughts section where we'll, we'll talk about it, you can go, go check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, thanks for watching this uh, playthrough. Thank you for, for sponsoring the playthrough and allowing us to, to do it. And uh, yeah, otherwise, um, I'm Chris George and you are Dead. <laughs> Shit barge is dead. Zachary's Robbie C's dead. out of account. I don't have a catchphrase, but you know what? I am the kingpin of a prison. See, people always told me I wouldn't do well in prison, and now I feel like I should probably just go out and commit some crimes. It depends on how much dice rolling is required in actual prison. I'm sure there's a lot. I'm sure there is. <laughs> and I think I'll do fine. Day two, you'll, you'll own the place. We've just proven it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. What are you wrestling around the back there for? <laughs> you trying to sneak out? You better not trying to be sneaking out. I'm always watching. <laughs> Watching and I'm not the time. Get out of here, you. You stole my family and now you're stealing my heart. Listen, I can't help it. Sometimes a bear has just got to be. But a bear's got to move. Boo-boo. Boo-boo. <laughs> but a bear's got to move. <laughs>